our project, Price Discrimination, and it's done by Mohammed, me, Ismail, Ria, and Aisha. Market segmentation is splitting the market into two. Therefore, there's going to be two demand pairs, one inelastic, one elastic. Therefore, the firm must capture these markets. For instance, um, iPods. A younger um, generation would demand more iPods than the elderly, so therefore they need to capture the younger generations and um, using different methods. The firm must also keep them separate at a reasonable cost. It requires market segmentation, where they split the market into two, um, and they somehow discourage customers from becoming sellers, resellers, and this can be done by people buying stuff from abroad and selling it into America. Okay, so why do they do it? You need to remember this kind of acronym, LIT. Location, income, and time. By location, we mean kind of where it is, where the situation is. So for example, you find that coffee in central London is a lot more expensive than coffee at, at your local shop. By income, it's kind of the difference between the rich and the poor. A rich person is much more likely to be able to afford an expensive airline ticket, while a poor person is the one that's more likely to go to the cheaper one. And finally, time. When you're in a rush for something and it's urgently needed, you will pay whatever is needed to get what you need, basically. Hello, Raj Patel here. Hello, I'm calling to confirm a flight for Mrs. Patel at Leeds at 2 o'clock. Sorry, Mr. Patel. It's for Mrs. Patel. Mrs. Patel, what time? Two o'clock. Oh my god. Any ticket to Mumbai India? Any? Now. I'll get it from check. Um, it, there's one seat left, but it's going to be quite pricey. How much? Anything. It's going to be £2,000 for a concert. Take, take it, take it. How much? Two thousand. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> The scene that we have just seen was an example of price discrimination with reference to time. This is because the Indian person acted out by Muhammad was in desperate need for a ticket and he was willing to pay any price possible. And therefore he rushed in to the ticket office and said, I am willing to pay whichever price. And in that situation, the price charged by the airline was much more than would have been charged had it been three or four or five weeks ago. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I would like some curry, please. Curry? Okay. Buy some, please. Thank you, brother. Thank you. We didn't serve it. The clip you have just seen is an example of price, dis price discrimination with reference to income. In this situation, people from within the same country offered each other kind of better deals. So the person as the shopkeeper gave a better discount to someone that came from their country because they spoke the same language. Is price discrimination good? It first of all allows for dynamic efficiencies, allows the poor to get what they need for a price they can afford, and allows unprofitable businesses to avoid going bank bankrupt.
Now we look at why prices finished bad. Some consumers will end up paying higher prices. These higher prices would likely to be added to the inefficient because price is greater than marginal cost. There will be a decline in consumer surplus because consumers are getting ripped off. And those who pay higher prices might not be the poorest. For example, adults could be paying higher prices when unemployed, but old age pensioners who are well off still get the same benefit. 